Uh, I am Hisham. <clears throat> Our presentation today to uh, explain uh, the basic of heat treatment. We use the heat treatment in uh, our uh, refineries and workshop and uh, factories. And we need now to explain some rules or basics for heat treatment. Uh, uh, sometimes we use uh, increase the temperature of the metal uh, without uh, actually we need our, or uh, we uh, catch the temperature but we have some colors of the metal by heating uh, this color can explain uh, the temperature for example if you go downside we found the orange or lemon orange it's mean uh, if the, the, the metal have the orange uh, color, it means the temperature is uh, 1725 Fahrenheit, uh, 940 Celsius. For that, uh, our colors for steels, by heating temperature, uh, you can uh, actually uh, know the temperature of this color. We have three stages for heat treatment. Uh, the first stage is heating metal slowly and ensure a uh, uniform temperature. It means uh, if we start the heating of the metal, uh, firstly, uh, slowly increasing the temperature and ensure the temperature is uniform with the piece. Secondly, holding time, it means when you reach the temperature for heat treatment, we must be hold this temperature for certain time. Uh, stage number three, the cooling. After finish the heating time or co uh, holding time, uh, we need the cooling. And also the cooling must be by the same rate of heating until the piece temperature reach the room temperature. Type of heat treatment, we have some types, and this is usually we use annealing, normalizing, hardening, and tempering. In this figure, that explain the normalizing is actually inside the gamma phase, and the annealing take the gamma phase and the other phases. But uh, in annealing and normalizing, we need to increase the temperature between 30 and 50 degrees centigrade above the uh, temperature of the steel. The first critical temperature here is 723, and the gamma zone. Uh, Starting from zero carbon content, the temperature is 910. Annealing. Annealing uh, can help us for reducing hardness, increasing ductility, improve toughness, uh, restore ductility, and the uh, refining green size. But the process is coming from we start heating by rate and reach the uh, high temperature for treatment, for example, uh, 850. 850 is depends on the carbon content and keep the temperature for certain time, depends on the thickness. And after finish the Holding time, we start the cooling and must be slow cooling. For annealing, must be slow cooling. Uh, it's coming uh, from uh, 27 degree until 50 degree per hour. Normalizing. Normalizing is near to annealing but different in the result. Annealing 
uh, it's mean we take for annealing we take the hard the ductility more than the hard nobility the ductile is more than the hardness but in normalizing we take the 50 percent hard and 50 percent ductile <coughs> and normalizing in our figure is more than the line of gamma zone or alpha, uh, gamma zone uh, i don't forget to increase between 30 and 50 degree more than uh, the uh, line of gamma zone that's to be ensure your temperature is inside or your structure is become completely gamma for increased temperature is like annealing holding time is also like annealing but the cooling here is different the cooling here is must be on air not slow cooling on normally air or we increase the temperature and holding time in furnace and the cooling we uh, remove this the piece from furnace uh, for air cooling and normalizing are harder and stronger than annealing it's mean the hardness 50 percent and the tile 50 percent hardening hardening is something different uh, we have ostenizing it's mean we reach the temperature above the first critical temperature uh, by enough temperature to be ensure now is, is tonight uh, and we quickly put the piece in water or oil or something or salt water to decrease the temperature fastly and keep the austenite phase at room temperature that's the quenching tempering tempering you know after quenching we have a martensite it's mean very very hard metal the surface is becoming very hard and we need to uh, 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 make some ductility for the surface uh, by the tempering tempering is reheat to reheat again the piece from 200 degree to 550 degree to decrease the hardness uh, and region some ductility for the surface what is tempering martensite needs to be tempered to get better ductility it's mean better ductility for the surface and uh, it, that's uh, mean uh, to avoid the surface crack that's some explanation for the uh, fast cooling and the medium cooling and the uh, uh, slow cooling for the uh, quenching uh, by triple t diagram or triple t curve this is uh, our two figures uh, the left one and explain if you go fastly and don't reach the curves it's mean the austenite phase starting from the up uh, above the higher critical temperature and keep the austenite phase until room temperature that's a fast cooling right figure explain if you cooling come slowly or uh, not uh, quickly it's mean we have another phases perlite and austenite phase and uh, perlite phase bianite phase slow cooling after reaching the temperature the austenite or the piece when uh, p in austenite phase by slow cooling it's mean the austenite will transfer to perlite and perlite medium cooling it mean fast then or better then uh, the austenite phase or the uh, spacement 
it's coming from the austenite phase to peonite phase. Fast cooling, the austenite phase is coming di directly and keep it austenite phase until martensite. How to know the hardenability? Hardenability, uh, the figure at right side, keep it. The first one at left is fast cooling, the medium one, medium cooling, and the right one, slow cooling. The first one at the left, fast cooling, the hardness level is very high. Medium cooling is medium hardness, slow cooling, low hardness. That's mean the hardability. And this chart explains as the temperature and the time. Uh, the dotted line is the first critical temperature, 723. Full, full annealing, full, full annealing, this means uh, uh, heating, holding time, and slow cooling, hardening, fast cooling, tempering to uh, region some uh, ductility for the surface to avoid the, uh, the surface crack. Stress relieving, stress relieving, this is the uh, like or the, the equivalent of uh, post weld heat treatment. And this has become under the first critical temperature. It mean not to be, not to reach 723, maximum 650. Screwdizing, this is something else. Stempering with more tempering. In uh, ASME, post world treatment in ASME 8, that easily to uh, know uh, the temperature, the, the, the material by name, uh, P number and the groom number, the norm, uh, normal heating. And that means that is the temperature you will reach it. You know, for, for example, P number one. Uh, by Silesius 595 maximum or minimum, sorry, and 1100 Fahrenheit as a minimum. And also, the holding time is one hour uh, per inch, uh, 15 minimum minute minimum. Uh, this is up to two inch. And uh, from 50 millimeter to uh, 125 millimeter is two hour plus 15 minutes for each additional one inch. It's mean two inch is one hour. More than two inch is 50. Two inch, uh, 50 millimeter is two hour plus. 15 minutes for each. It means the holding time is maximum two hour for uh, the inches or for the holding time. But for increase the inches or increase the thickness, for each one inch you increase 15 minutes only. Over five inch, two hour plus 15 minimum for each additional one inch. That's as if eight is easily to. Uh, uh, write your uh, procedure for heat treatment. Uh, this is right. Uh, explain the preheat temperature, what we use in our WPS. Uh, our figure or table explained by the group number, left side, and uh, weld uh, metal, and the base metal group. For for example, the first one. A P number one, uh, will the metal L E number one, will be metal group carbon steel. Uh, and the uh, next column, uh, the wall thickness of the our uh, piping, uh, and the minimum tensile strength, and we need to uh, actually check the both the metal thickness and the uh, tensile strength. Uh, finally, the minimum temperature for preheat uh, as required or uh, recommended. And uh, if we check our table uh, for alloy steel, uh, 
at all thickness and all uh, minimum tensile strength required uh, sometimes and another times or another metal for alloy steel recommended. Thank you for uh, listening to me, and please, uh, you can give me like for our page, Alex Inspector at Facebook, and uh, visit our website, alex-inspector at site123.net. Thank you.